Hello, fellow gardeners. Well, we're down here this morning. We're going to make you another video. Getting a lot of questions on the YouTube channel, you know, about, uh, and on the phone, on the text, about the depth of container you can use. So I, I really never address, addressed that, I don't guess. So we're going to address that a little bit this morning. This is the, you know, the blue one and the red one we've been using. And uh, this is the black one. You can buy it at Walmart in the tote department. It's a round tub with a rope handle on each end. I understand Target's got them in the baby department. Uh, Walmart had these in the tote department. Lowe's and Home Depot have them in the garden department. So uh, find you some of these if you can't find these. If you can't find the round ones, use a rectangle. I noticed some of them for $6.95 yet last night in Walmart. It's a pretty good size container. And they can set end to end good down the road, better than a round one, but you don't have to have a round one. You can use a rectangle. We're going to show you some things you can do. All right. Uh, this is, of course, this is the one, the blue one, you know, that we put five milk jugs in and uh, have holes in the little small holes at the top and the bottom in each jug. Nothing new. Still got a, uh, uh, the wee pole on the side of the tub. Up there, you know, you can go up as high as six inches on this using the jugs. We just want the hole lower than the top of the jugs, okay? Yes, now some of these won't have pipes in them, but yes, we recommend putting a pipe in a jug. Take the cap off of it, cut a little bit off that mouth if you have to, put your pipe down in there. We recommend at least a one-inch pipe. If you use anything sm smaller, you might get your funnel in there and pour it down through there. But if you use a one inch, put it down in that jug in the top of it, sitting all the way down to the bottom of the jug. You know, you can take a little stick or a dowel pin and drop it down in there and raise it up and you can tell how much water, you know, if you got it down in your jug, stick the dowel pin down in there and raise it up. It'll show you how much water you got on it. So. Anyway, that's the way, you know, we put our soil down in there. We want to cover 80 to 85% of the bottom of the tub with whatever you're going to put in there to hold the soil up. Because if you put the soil all in there with no jugs, it's going to drown your plant, okay? This is what we're making these tubs for is wicking. It holds all your water. You don't lose your water like you put all the holes in the bottom of the tub. We don't want that. We want to hold and preserve all of our water. We're wanting it to drink and eat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you use the milk jugs in them, or you can use the four inch French drain pipe, like I've got in this one the same way. You know, we've changed it around instead of three using three pipes. Now we use one that's four foot and about nine inches long around the outside. Uh, we cover the ends of the pipe. Then we put a lead meter across the middle, and that covers about 80 to 85% of the bottom of your tub. You gotta leave your hole at three inches if you do the four inch pipe because you want an inch of air above your water. So whatever height the container is inside, you gotta be at least one inch below it. Now I know these jugs were probably two inches below them, but that's okay. At least it gives you six inches of water with these jugs, okay. Now, if you have to go buy these containers because you can't get the cattle, these are your mineral tubs that comes from your ranchers. Some people live in states they can't find these. We're gonna recommend if you will go to your local feed store, not to a chain store. They're not gonna to try to help you. They sell smaller quantities of these lick tubs to the ranchers. The independent feed stores are selling these, some of them five and 600 a year to a rancher. That's the one you want to go get these tubs off of. Go to your independent feed store and ask him, do you have anybody in our area that you sell a lot of these tubs to that I can get them after the cows have eat all the mineral out of them? This thing weighs 200 pounds when it's full of mineral. They want the cows to lick it out of it and then you can get them. Pretty reasonable to you to think. We sell them used or new, but we're in Kingston, Oklahoma. No, we can't ship them. It, the freight is $20 a tub we put some and sent to California the other day and it cost us $20 per tub to ship them plus the price of the tub. So we don't recommend that. Go get you some of these at Walmart or something. Uh, 
Another question, now this is a goat mineral tub, same thing, it's shallower. People are asking me, how deep a tub do you have to have? Well, you need six to nine inches above your jugs to grow in. So see, this tub with this can or with a jug in it, let me get a jug. See, you can't grow in that, that's too tall. It's too tall here. So you're gonna to have to use something, either use the four inch pipe in the bottom, holds three inches up, or you can use something like this. This is coffee containers. So you've got, you've still got four or five inches. Now, you cannot grow your tomato plants in this container because it's too shallow. This is only good for your greens like lettuce, spinach, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, stuff like that. You can't even grow potatoes in here. You couldn't grow corn in here. Uh, peppers, you might get by putting one or either three peppers in here. It's a little shallow, but it would probably work because those roots will go on down in that water. But uh, tomato plant, don't try it. I mean, it's too shallow. Get you something deeper, okay? I just thought I'd address that while we was talking here. All right, I still, these schools still have these containers that you can get for free. They throw them away. They work awful good in here. All you got to do is fill it full of buckets and pull one bucket out somewhere for your wick. All right. We're going to get right on down and uh, let's see. We talked about these two. I'm going to scoot that one over. I'll scoot that one over. See, I drilled my hole up here about six inches up. I've got four milk jugs in there. That's about what it takes. If you think that's too much, put you some soda pop bottles. Hang on just a second. Punch your holes in the top and the bottom of these water bottle, uh, pop bottles. And if you want to drop you four more of them, that'll be yeah, just about right, I think. Okay. <laughs> Should have had these in hand. I didn't do it. Now then, you might even put, now you're going to get too much. Now then, yeah, that's about covered where you can put your soil all down in those cracks. Punch it down in there good and tight. And then you fill it up right above the top of the jugs. Put your fertilizer in. You know, Sherry, I'll stop and tell you, Sherry will send you a paper or I'll text you a paper. Her number is 580-564-5909 at the garden center. That's wrong, excuse me, that's mine. Back up. 580-564-2166 is Sherry's number at the garden center. 580-564-2166. 5909 is my cell number. You can text me and I'll send you a paper. Uh, calling me, it's just hard to get through to me. I mean, so many people are calling. We got 130,000 people out there. And so anyway, uh, we're going to shut this off and hope you like this video. Punch the button, ring the bell, subscribe, and we'll come back with another video.